Hey guys, hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. And I have a microphone here, so hopefully you can hear me just a tiny bit better. I find that the sound is quite clear and I can hear myself breathing, <laughs> which is kind of awkward for me. Where I teach breath work, it's kind of making me think about how I'm breathing. So let me know if you can hear, see me clearly, all that jazz where I'm attempting something new. And one thing that I'm doing is connecting to the energy of the month of December. I've already done this on my YouTube channel. Hey, whoever's watching, could you just let me know you can hear me okay? And um, because I'm looking to reach more people, I figured I would come on here so that people that aren't going onto my YouTube channel can actually be more interactive and listen so I can tap into more people which is wonderful. So thank you so much for watching this. My name is Robin. If this is your first time watching, I'm doing 50% off of my services until December 12th. And then my prices are changing. Not a lot, but they're going up about $15. So I just want to let everybody know as well. So it's a great time to take advantage. It comes up with taxes in Canadian dollars. It's over Zoom, by the way. And uh, if we need to use WhatsApp or FaceTime or however you want to do it, we can do that too. I'm quite flexible. But um, it comes up to like 5462, something like that with taxes. So I know um, people are really lucky when they buy things from the States, I find, because I'm buying a lot of things from from the states and it's costing me so much more than like everybody else it feels like but then when they come over to me it's way better for them too so I'm like oh. anyway I'm over it hearing perfect okay awesome that makes me really happy all right so uh Mikael how are you doing anyway how are you feeling with this full moon energy let me know um our full moon is basically just starting the day before December so we will start our December off with full moon energy and an eclipse so that means big 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 change and I know with COVID we're getting new rules and things like that some people are like adapting really well and this moon is teaching us to be more flexible and to focus a bit more on love so um, trusting that the people that we do have in our life are the people that are meant to be in our life and if you're connecting to the energy of relationships like you're not feeling like you have the right people in your life that's going to be one of your changes is to find your soul tribe i already did a video on this full moon energy so you can definitely check that out under um, my YouTube channel as well. So Mikhail is saying crazy emotions. Yes. So where you are a sensitive person, this is definitely going to affect you more. And again, it depends on where your astrological sign is. But we have King of Air. And that's related to Libra energy. So even though we're working with Gemini energy at the beginning of the month, this is telling us that balance is really key. As I was just saying, making adjustments, being a bit more flexible, and asking yourself too, why are you resisting the change? Because it might be that you have to let go of old people in your life, do things like cord cutting, etc. As I take a deep breath here. <sighs> Another cool thing that I'm doing in my sessions is EFT. And I find that really fascinating. I'm working on myself a lot too. And it's really neat to see, to check in with my body and my mindset and how they're not always lining up. And the importance of releasing emotions too. So around full moons, we're definitely letting go of energy. So at the beginning of the month, you are going to have to release things. So again, if you're not getting a session with me, make sure that you have a lot of tools already so that you can start becoming aware of what's coming up, letting it go, and then allowing positive energy to come in. Okay. So anyway, hopefully you can see this clearly. I'm just working on my little setup. I'm cleaning out all my clutter right now too. So you might find that if you're a clutter bug, it's time to clean that energy up too because your space makes a huge difference. So if you're not using smudge, which I have here right now, and I have a nice candle lit, I have a little stone with me. So your environments are going to play a huge role right now. So if you're not feeling positive in your environment, it might be that you don't like your home and you want to change your home. Maybe you want to paint new colors, whatever it is for you. But it does feel like environments are quite... Um, important right now because if more people are spending time at home you really want to enjoy your home environment and your home space so just keep that in mind that that's where we're starting december off it says speak your mind with confidence seek out professional advice as i was just saying 
get the help that you need, help people that need help, etc. Balance mental and emotional considerations, yes. So that would be maybe more self-care around this time. Focusing on your own creative projects. This decluttering is part of a creative project. As I said, I'm feeling guided towards like all the things that I've been wanting to do, I feel like I actually have the energy to do it. So you might find that take some of these emotions that you're feeling and put it into the stuff that you really want to be doing. And just instead of having that monkey mind, because that's really common at this time, it's sorting out some of the, some of that clutter in the head too. Okay. Oh, let's take another breath there. Okay. So as we trickle in further into into December, we have five of water, and I was actually picking up a lot of sadness when I first came on here. So I'm gonna take a, a sip of my rinky here. Ah, and I have cinnamon in my apple cider. And uh, the energy of cinnamon can attract abundance as well. So burning cinnamon, stuff like that. I have cinnamon in my candle as well. Just, just a little uh, food for thought because when we have sadness, sometimes we need an, uh, an uplifting, joyful energy and abundance and joy kind of go hand in hand. Often people live in that lack mentality. My attraction program that I'm just starting, by the way, you can still hop into it, is all about really just getting into that, into that mindset because a lot of times we feel like we're not worthy of all these beautiful things in our life. And Christmas can really bring up a lot of emotions for people because they've lost loved ones, because they've had endings in relationships, because they have to make big changes during maybe what you consider a stressful time. So this is what the card says here. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation. We were just saying that, crying over spilled milk. So you kind of have to dump it, dump all the energy in order to collect new positive energy. So getting near the water is really important drinking lots of water, staying really hydrated. So a lot of people don't think about hydrating their face. They they might be uh, forgetting to just take care of like putting your creams on, um, putting your face masks on, whatever it is, like that little pampering energy as we go into December because we're living in a bit of an intense energy right now. And so if we're feeling like we're in a state of fluctuation, we have to take that time for ourselves to start feeling better about our self-esteem and our self-worth. So self-love is going to play a huge role for us because it's how we're looking at things based on how we're feeling, right? So if you have too much junk in your trunk, you want to cleanse yourself of that energy. So with the full moon energy, make sure you're doing your cleansing, okay? So that's kind of like as we move into December. We'll go with mid-December here. Eight of water, a desire to move on, see our theme, the search for something more meaningful. So passions, business, marketing, um, networking, anything to do with that stuff is perfect right now. Spiritual and emotional growth, yes, spirituality is all tied into those passions and hobbies that you have. So getting deeper into the things that you like to do. And I think it's about discovering what those things are. And if anyone would like to allow me to do some market research on them. It's about a 10 minute call and I'm just asking you a few questions as I'm developing some new projects myself and I'm looking to see all the similarities and all the people because it's already happen happening with the people I've been discussing. I'm seeing, okay, everybody feels the exact same way, but then I'll get a couple people that are in different places in their life and I'm gonna structure things based on that. So for you, this feels like new habits need to be formed. So getting outside of your comfort zone, and even though it really, really sucks that we have to walk away from really, really big things in our life, yes, it's emotional, but it takes a lot of courage to do those things. So you have to be proud of all the work you've already done in order to really make those big changes. So if you're feeling like uncertain about something or really confused, then you want to think about all the times in your life where you were successful, all the good things that have happened. Because if you're obviously, if you're focusing on the negative stuff, it's not gonna be great during this month because there are a lot of ways that we could look at life right now and it's not ideal for your mental health, that's for sure. So what are all these new things I'm gonna start doing in January? right? Like all your New Year's, New Year's resolutions. Let's start focusing on that now, mid-December, 
and start forming that habit, which it takes about 21 days to do. So if you start then, by the time you hit mid-December or mid-January, you'll probably have be feeling a lot different than you are now. So it's just a little bit of a forward thinking and getting our energy up and getting excited about all these new things that we get to do. And it does feel like in particular, it might be just one thing. So make sure you're just picking that one really important thing. For me, it definitely is getting outside more because I love nature. I know what I have to do in the winter time and that's get all the sunlight that I can. So um, part of it is moving my body too. So that's going to be my thing. So again, I can start prepping myself by doing maybe uh, 20 minutes a day so that eventually I won't even be thinking about that. I'll just be doing it with my snowshoes. It just, it won't be like, I'm going to do this this year. It's just happening in your natural patterns daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, forever, right? And it's okay to make changes along the way. So a lot of emotional energy this month, a lot of thinking as well. So uh, if you're not clearing out the emotions, doing some exercises or whatever it is that helps you, that's something you can um, get in touch with me more about in terms of what would suit you best because a lot of people get really caught up in their head and they don't know what they need and then they fixate a lot. So I'm going to use do a little stone reading here and work with a crystal to see what's going to come in as we trickle further into December. Okay, structure is really, really important. So if you want to start something new in as December goes further along, then you have to create structure in your life. So we always start with the getting back into the heart space. What are the things that you love? So if it's Christmas time, actually asking for things for Christmas that you love, buying yourself something that you love, but also, as I was just saying, getting back in touch with those things that you love because it could be a person calling them on the phone. Um, it might be like that you want to sign up for one of my programs that I'm creating for January. But it's it does feel like learning is really important. If you've always wanted to learn something, then what's holding you back from that? That's what I would suggest. There must be something in your in your structure of your life, how you're spending your time, how you're spending your finances. And then it's just learning how to make those adjustments. And it's getting very clear about what you want as December trickles in. So we go a little bit further, we'll say closer to Christmas energy. This is, it feels like beauty and fashion is coming up because if you kind of feel crappy about yourself, then you're going to kind of, your energy is going to stay a little bit lower. So it does feel like taking the time to do your hair, do your makeup. If you're a man, maybe shave, stuff like that. Even if you feel like you're stuck and can't like go for dinner or go to these big parties, just make yourself feel a little bit better. It might be having a cup of tea instead of a cup of coffee because and just sip it a little bit more slowly so you can really put the brakes on because everybody is in go, go, go mode with nowhere to go. <laughs> All right, let's go into actual Christmas. There's a really beautiful energy coming up around Christmas, which is really great. It feels like there are a lot of people who are getting what they want. It's like if maybe they've waited all year for Christmas to come to get some an item or to spend time with somebody or whatever it is to have like more romance, something like that. But love is definitely coming up and it could be a little bit of material, material energy, but it kind of feels like it's okay to, to want material things. It's okay to have goals for yourself. And that's kind of what our uh, theme is as December goes forward is more goal setting. So be in an energy of letting go of the past and being really open to whatever's coming your way. Because if you're kind of open, that's not the best place to be. We want to trust ourselves enough that the answer is always an automatic yes. We don't say, oh, I think I need a few days to think. No, we want to be automatic thinkers and be able to respond to what our body's wants and needs are. So the way that you're eating around the Christmas time energy still comes back to high energy foods. So if you're having sugar, that's fine, but make sure that after you're eating your sugar, you take a little bit of time to rest so you're not kind of um, spending days up 
and then crashing. So it's like, okay, I'm eating all this sugar and now I'm just going to like sit and, and leave it. And then tomorrow you can eat a bunch more too. But we don't want to do that strong, strong up and then crash energy because then people tend to get really sluggish over the holidays and it's not ideal for structure and exactly what I was saying. So we want to, if, even if we're off of work, we still want to keep those routines happening and then we'll go closer to just before um, New Year's energy. And it feels like there's um, someone here watching that's quite stubborn. And they know what they need to do, but they don't want to do it. And the only person that's suffering is the person making that unhealthy choice for themselves. So it feels like if you're getting a lot of heat right now, from other people because you don't agree with people and that's making you feel defensive. Well, being defensive and putting your wall up and putting your guard up only hurts you. So if you think you're you're proving something to somebody um, over the holidays, just closer towards New Year's, um, it's not about proving yourself to anybody else. It's more, as I was just saying, getting back into that heart center. So if you're working from your ego at all closer to New Year's, I would say just stop and ask yourself, how is this serving me? If you're, if you're doing anything for any external reasons, okay? And New Year's will be a really interesting time. I feel like reading this stone. I love crystal readings, actually. I think I'm going to start doing more of that. This is a carnelian. It's as we're talking about the energy of the heart and just getting back into um, our voice as well, being able to to even um, create more positive dialogue with ourselves as we're discussing self-love. Oh, let's just kind of breathe and make, make sound there. Okay, so we'll go into around New Year's and just a tiny bit after, okay? Um, what that's saying is that I feel like Crystals are actually going to be really good for people around that time. So if you can ask for something for Christmas, I sell bracelets. So uh, they, like Tiger's Eye, I think I have like a couple of those left. Um, they're $10. I have a protection stone on, a little uh, black onyx, wearing some lapis lazuli. Um, I have my yellow citron necklace on. So I find all of these things are really great when we're starting fresh and starting new in something because often we'll need a little bit of help when we're doing something that we're not used to doing. So anything that's really helping you get into that structure and get into that mode, okay, here is what I am doing. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Getting into that mindset has to be positive and it has to be healthy and Again, adapting to new tools. So if it's uncomfortable for you to get a psychic reading, if it's uncomfortable uncomfortable for you to do like EFT, it doesn't matter. Just do and try things that you know are going to be healthy for you and start with that health mindset. If this is good for me, I'm going to try it. And so this might be related to dietary restrictions and things like that. It's like I, for instance, I can't have cheese, so I'm looking at cashew milk and uh, lemon juice and putting that together and making a vegan cheese. That is not something that sounds delicious to me, but from an energy standpoint, I'm being attracted to these videos to learn how to make my own cheese because it probably is really delicious and less expensive and cool to make your own things, right? But our natural instinct is like, oh, it's not going to taste good. It's not as convenient. It might be more expensive, more work. So we want to get out of that mindset and be a lot more open starting new and fresh in January, okay? Any questions from anybody? Feels like there's a lot of details in, in that, and I like that. So uh, it, it's different for everybody, but that's our general reading, just as like a typical theme based on the people that are going to be watching these videos. And on YouTube, there'll be different people watching that video as well. So I would recommend going on to Robin Sealing YouTube, checking out my reading for December 2020, as well as my video for 2020 and 2021, as you might find the trickling into the new year. It'll be helpful to get a little bit more insight. So I love you all. De definitely take advantage of this sale that I'm doing. As I said, prices are going up 
after December 12th, so it's a great time. And I will be advertising my January program that will be coming up January 7th shortly. So take care and have a great weekend, guys. Bye for now. And pass the good energy along.